Welcome to the Bottle Poppin' Podcast, where Meg and Heather share their love for oils, friendship, and entrepreneurship. Let's get it poppin'. Hey, everyone. This is Meg. Hi, this is Heather. And we are the Bottle Poppin' Podcast. And today we actually are doing our official poppin' of a bottle, and we're just going to focus on one oil. And so the oil that we picked to focus on today is Abode. And this is a brand new oil blend that doTERRA has brought out. It's being sold officially in October of 2021. So we're super excited to have this. And they actually have a whole line of Abode products, but we're going to really focus on just the oil today. So Heather, you want to pop that bottle open and let me know what your first impression is. All right, let's take a whiff here. Clean. Um, I think it feels like it just smells really clean. I smell the Arbor Vitae in it the most. I like the smell. It says refreshing blend on the side, but it just smells really crisp and clean to me. What about you? I love stuff like this because it's so interesting how our noses are different because I don't smell the Arbor Vitae or any of the tree oils. I smell citrusy oils. So I know lime is supposed to be the biggest citrus oil in here, but I think I smell more litsia or even lemon myrtle. And then I definitely smell that hint of cassia. So a little bit of a cinnamony smell, but maybe that's because my husband loves the cinnamony smells. So <laughs> I, I definitely smell those undertones of what you're talking about as well. Yes, it is interesting how we're each able to kind of grab a different oil out of the blend because there's quite a few oils in this. Do you want to tell everybody what is in this? Yeah. So this is in order of what is the most to the least. So just like a recipe, anything else. So this has lime, litsia, cassia, lemon eucalyptus, tea tree, arbor vitae, cochi eucalyptus, cilantro, lavender, and then lemon myrtle essential oil. So, so these are kind of, bunch. yeah, big hitters when it comes to cleaning stuff. I feel like several of those are really well known for the chemical constituents that are in them that make them really powerful cleansers. Tea tree yeah. for one, Arbor Vitae, the Litsia, like I feel like there is quite a few in there. Yeah, yeah. And then just citrus oils in general are super disinfecting as well. So yeah, it's a cool combination. So the way you use this one, there's two different ways to use it. One of them is aromatic. So just popping open the bottle, smelling it like we are, but also putting it in a diffuser and having the oil go into the air in your home is a really good way to cleanse your home. And then the second way, this is brand new. So previously, in fact, in the podcast right before this, we actually talked about the three main ways to use oils, which is aromatic internally and the third one, which is, oh, topically. <laughs> so, but doTERRA now has a fourth way to use oils, which is household. So this is the first one that is a household oil. And I would assume because they called it out as that, that maybe eventually we'll get more household oils. But what that means is that you can use it specifically for home cleaning routines. And so pretty cool that you could do that. In fact, one of the recommendations I read is that you could just take, I think they said 10 to 20 drops of oil in a spray bottle with water and shake it up. And it is really good at just cleaning surfaces, which is pretty awesome to have like a strong disinfectant that just does that. So first I want to comment on the aromatic because I tend to use anywhere from five to eight drops of oils in my diffuser and different diffusers are built for different size rooms. And so the one that I have, I would assume usually covers my living room pretty well, but if I walk out of the living room, which is my, our house is an open room between the kitchen, dining and living. But when I walk out of that space, I can't always smell what I have in the diffuser in the living room until I get closer. When I opened the bottle of Abode, it just smelled a lot stronger, I think, than a lot of the other oils. And yeah. so I decided to just start with four drops in the living room diffuser, did my thing, walked out of the room, in fact, walked out of the house. And when I came back in the house, I was shocked that I could smell Abode through the entire house with just four drops. So super impressive combination of just how strong it is. You really don't need that much. The house just smelled really clean and I hadn't cleaned the house. The only thing that I had done was put this in the diffuser. 
Yeah. Yeah. I've had the same experience. And I will say as well, as far as putting it in the diffuser, I really like it. It makes it smell clean, but also kind of special if you add in one drop of our new vanilla as well. So it's a good Interesting combo. combination. Okay. <laughs> clean and special. Well, so and let's oh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, I know you've had some experience with cleaning with the abode. So you were using the specific cleaner, but do you want to just talk a little bit about the cleaning properties of the oil itself and how that was effective for you? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like we said at the beginning of this, that there is a whole line of cleaning products that have this oil in it. And so we won't go through all of them today, but I was just sharing with Heather about the new surface or all-purpose cleaner. And um, we are amazed and at the same time kind of disgusted with our cleaning habits before. <laughs> so we um, have a glass stove top. So it's a flat stove and probably within a week or two of having it, we had something boil over on the stove top and we haven't been able to fully get it clean since then. And we just thought, you know, it baked on because of the heat on the glass and it is what it is. We tried a few different things, including straight lemon oil, which generally gets rid of anything and it never got clean. And so, you know, we knew that we were disinfecting it. We were using on guard cleaning concentrate on it. It's not like it was dirty, but it just didn't look nice. And one use of this new cleaning concentrate that has a boat in it, sprayed it on it, it wiped right off. We were both like, oh, for a year we've had this stuck on our oven and or stovetop and all of a sudden, no, it's clean again. So wow, <laughs> very impressed with the cleaning properties of this. So curious if uh, we took the recommendation of using the 10 to 20 drops with just straight water for mm -hmm. things like shower cleaning and things like that, if it would just really get the job done really quickly, like the way you were using yeah. the lemon oil just straight on, if this was used straight on like that too, I bet it's really powerful as well. Yeah. We'll definitely have to give that a try. Clean all the stuff. Clean all the stuff. Okay. But so let's talk a little bit about, so first of all, for those that don't know, um, doTERRA did not find that any standards that were available to rate oils was good enough for what they wanted their standards to be. And so they have something called CPTG and that stands for certified, pure, tested grade. And we really learned a lot about where the word tested came from during convention. And so they spoke a lot about the testing that they've been doing on oils, but how the abode really came to be and the testing that they've done behind it. Do you want to share a little bit about that? Yeah, I thought this was fascinating. So they actually showed us a side-by-side -side comparison of two Petri dishes and both had like some type of simple solution in it, the same solution. And then one of the Petri dishes had just one drop of the abode oil in the, the Petri dish. And then to both Petri dishes, they added, I believe, staph. So some type of bacteria, but I'm pretty sure it was staph that they added to it. And then basically recorded it over a week time frame, so seven days. And it was crazy to see. So both of them, the staff infection started on the outside of the Petri dish. And the one that did not have anything besides the solution in it, it pretty quickly covered with like this white stuff that then changed to brown and then to black and just looked gross. Whereas the one that had the one drop of abode in it, it slowly changed and only on the outside. And so where you could see that drop of abode, the staph infection didn't come close to it at all. So what they referred to that as is the zone of inhibition. And this is the area in which bacteria cannot grow. And so bacteria, and specifically in this case, the staph infection will not grow anywhere near this um, abode oil. And it even like looking at it over the seven day period, it was obviously time lapsed, but it didn't even get close. I feel like over a third of the Petri dish at the end of seven days still did not have the staph infection in it. And it was basically white around the rim, whereas the other Petri dish was totally black and disgusting looking. And so it was just really cool to actually see the testing like that. And then to start thinking like, if I put this oil in my diffuser. And now there's little particles going into my whole home. Like the amount of cleansing power that that has is really exciting and really awesome. And that's definitely not something that you see with, you know, commercial cleaning products. 
yeah, it was really cool to see the testing in action. Yeah, those visual presentations are really powerful when you can kind of see that. And they were talking about the bigger the zone of inhibition, the more effective the oil is at combating the microbe that they put in there. And so the Mm -hmm. fact that the entire Petri dish almost was able to stay safe from that with just one drop. Yeah. I mean, like you said, putting a few drops in the diffuser or, you know, spraying the countertop, like, wow, that makes me feel just that much more confident with it too. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So lots of great products um, have come out that have abode in it. So definitely check that out as well. And we hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, You can reach out at bottle poppin podcast at gmail.com yes thank you (laughs) i knew i was gonna mess that up (laughs) all right you guys have a great week bye thanks for tuning in for more information you can follow these bottle poppin ladies at bottle poppin podcast.com tune in next week to learn about what bottle we're popping until next time take care These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease.